Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to combine factorials. Now, factorials are a pretty straightforward concept. Combining them really depends on what kind of operation that you want to consider. So the bottom line, though, is before you combine factorials, you generally want to expand the factorials and figure out what kind of numbers that you have to work with. So for example, if you want to add 3 factorial with 4 factorial, the understanding is you have to figure out what 3 and 4 factorial are. So 3 factorial is 3 times 2 times 1 and 4 factorial is 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So you multiply the respective numbers together, 3 times 2 times 1 is 6, plus 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, that's going to give you 24, and then that's going to end up being 30. So 3 factorial plus 4 factorial is going to be 30. Now you might want to save the values for what those factorials stand for, because if you're asked to find out what 3 factorial times 4 factorial is, you can save yourself quite a bit of work by understanding and remembering that 3 factorial is 6 and 4 factorial is 24 and then do the multiplication from there. So 24 times 6 is going to give you 144. And if you were to add or, or, add or subtract or multiply and divide factorials, you can, for example, if you have 3 factorial divided by 4 factorial, it might be easier to expand the factorials out 3 times 2 times 1 over 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 and then cancel appropriately and you're left with 1 quarter. So when it comes to combining factorials, make sure you expand them first and then reduce and combine as necessary. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that's how to combine factorials.